my vagina is a mystery. A little stuck up, she's never easily pleased. She comes across as demanding, but really, she just loves the familiar. She responds to confidence and music. Not just Miles Davis, he's good on occasion. She gets down to the Chili Peppers and Fela Kuti, Alanis Morissette and 90s hip hop. She likes the music so loud that she can feel it. She's crazy like that. You'd love her if you had to meet her. She's the type to make guests feel welcome and leave you feeling good about yourself. She loves company. That's when she really shines, but she gets really cranky if she doesn't get her alone time. <laughs> she loves to be touched, and she loves giving, and giving back comes naturally to her. My vagina is a little confused. Currently unused because the last tenant was evicted for lack of maintenance. <laughs> She's in the market for something new. Someone silly and strong who loves loud music and soft touches to make her feel new again. My vagina used to want to be a nun, but now she knows better. <laughs> Even Maria hooked up with Captain Von Trapp, so you can bet your ass she's not flying solo. She used to need to get a jump start to get her going. Artificial stimulation supplied by mind numbing tequila shots and free flowing vodka. Now, she knows better. She's seen enough to know that being awake is always better than being numb. And there's no need to hide from being seen. My vagina used to believe in rainbows and silver linings, but now she's not so sure. Electric fences and burglar bars have muted her bass beat and left only single high-pitched notes of fear and worry and mistrust. Rape was once a distant reality that lived in vague daily headlines, but quietly it made its way into her neighborhood, her family, her circle of friends. And now it lurks in the shadows, feeding the mistrust and the worry and the fear. My vagina used to be fearless, but now she's had to grow up. My vagina wants to be left alone when she's walking down the street. She hates that stupid whistling and the hissing and the babies, wakala baby. <laughs> she wants to be spoken to and flirted with and taken out dancing. She wants space and closeness, dreams and honesty. She wants everything now because she's greedy like that and she doesn't see the point in making realistic choices. She wants freedom, she wants experiences, she wants joy, she wants to feel good, she wants to be remembered, she wants more. I don't know what happened or how I got here, but I need to file a report. A great injustice has been done and I'm here to turn myself in as the responsible one. Not too sure when it happened, but I found myself in dispersion. My dream of self stands aside as I flounder in reality. My desperate voice keeps her away and holds my pussy hostage. She's dragging her into the dark and sinister underbelly of my being. Drugs of choice being hopelessness, apathy, and a huge lack of self-esteem. My pussy is slowly deflating. She's up for sale on the streets of my heart. The price is decreasing by the minute, and my voice of reason is busy in counseling. Desperate, convinced reason that she's living in a fantasy. Now, she's off to seek stability, but she left this madhouse a long time ago. So I turned to logic. But Desperate had already gotten to her, turned her around and circled with compound questions and unanswerable existential debates. She's curled up in a corner in the lower echelons of my brain. And Desperate found the last trace of depression. And she, who never comes to a party empty-handed, brought along negativity. They're the triple thread of evil in the inner workings of my anatomy. And poor innocent little pussy is drying up under their fury. I tried the police, but the receptionist hung up on me. So I'm going to tie the last red ribbon of bravery around my forehead and go in Rambo style. Put an end to bad dates where pussy's been placed on the table, the centerpiece, the ultimate prize for anyone who's willing to give a hint of intimacy or the slightest compliment. In her doped up state, she doesn't stand a chance. I'm her only option and it's taken every ounce of 
pride. Oh my God. Completely forgot about pride. I raced past the three cronies through my nasal membrane and towards the eyes. There she is, right next to Vanity. They're staring at their awesomeness in the reflection of my corneas. I know how to handle her. She reacts to begging and groveling. It burns her to see anyone acting beneath their worth. So we snatch poor pussy from the table and in rather a hostile takeover, reconfigure my being. Rationality returns and joy soothes me back to pleasure. But don't be fooled. Somewhere, lurking in the darkness, I still hear the whispers of desperation and quiver at the thought of her return.